G'day there. I'd like to introduce you to my uh, table saw micro adjustment jig. Um, the jig effectively consists of this uh, threaded dowel that I made with a, well I use a Beal wood threader. You can buy any other type of a threader in some, some of the bigger hardware stores like Rockler or Carbotech here in Australia and a few other places. Um, the jig itself has a much a nut on it. This little tenon part on the end here held down by a pair of max switches. Now I'll go into a little bit more on these max switches later. Um, the major or one of the major operations are these little bits of wood that then hold this tenon against the fence. I'm very fortunate that my fence has got this uh, T-track in it so let's just attach this uh, little captivator. Um, I then use these absolutely fantastic little uh, quick threaded knobs. Um, you can move a lot of thread here I am doing a lot of screwing, but that's because the head was quite deep inside the channel. Um, get this part, put it into position, roughly against the table saw, align it with the table saw, tighten the mag switches, then go to the fence end and just square up this attachment to the fence and tighten that up. Once you've done that, it's now aligned. You can move the jig, move the fence to whatever setting you like. Um, I'll bring it back where hopefully it's still in focus and give you a quick idea of what to do. Once it's done there, you roughly set your distance of your fence, grab the jig, put it on, and then it's just a simple matter of stugging up your fence um, snug it up a bit so at least you have the fence square because there's nothing worse than you move the fence then when you tighten it it then goes out of alignment as it straightens up. Once it's tightened, loosen it up a bit. You should know your own fence of how far you loosen it up or whatever. And then it's just a simple matter of turning the knob to move that, well moving it clockwise takes it closer to the uh, table saw. Moving it anti-clockwise takes it table saw, uh, saw blade, uh, moves it away from the saw blade. And that's basically it. Now if you then need to move it, as you'll notice here, I haven't got, I usually have the jig set up in such a way, so you've only got about an inch of travel. Damn it, you know, if you want to move it more than an inch, well, pick the bloody thing up and move it manually. And then just micro adjust those few micro millimeters uh, rather than try and advance it with the knob you know 10 inches or whatever now back to what i mentioned about the mag switches mag switches i reckon are one of the best little attachments i've ever bought for my workshop for playing when i work on uh, cast iron tabletops like uh, well the table saw band saw drill press and whatever other cast irons like sometimes i even put a cast iron plate on my router table so I can then use mag switches to place jigs on it. Now I bought, when I first uh, found out about mag switches I wasn't you know that savvy about it and I bought these type and look they're great but I certainly don't recommend these ones for a lot of for variable jig use. If you've got a permanent jig they're great. But the problem with them is that you have to screw them in and if you want to then use them for something else you've got to unscrew it and usually to get stability you've got to use at least two screws and that's a lot of screwing. I would much rather, um, and if I ever redesign this jig, um, use these mag switches. Virtually the same except that they're round, cylindrical, they have this uh, 3 quarter inch 19mm lip on it so it's ideal for 
three quarter inch stock. What you do is, I used to design my own uh, feather boards. Um, drop that into the hole, turn it on, and well, that's when you use two of them, and it holds great. Um, I used to use uh, make these wooden feather boards, but you know, just one or two many drops is, and they break. I had to brace it, and uh, I mean, it's good because the magnets will stick to it, but uh, not, not, not that good anymore. So I now 3D print my feather boards. I can put the mag switch on, and the beauty of these 3D printed feather boards are that you can have it going running one way, the feather board, and then if you want to reverse the thing, flip it over, but flip it over, goes that way or that way. Um, quite versatile, and it doesn't matter which side you put it on, uh, but that's it. Anyway, um, also, for all it's worth, another um, jig I made, and I believe I made this from, it has something to do with my curve maker, goes, uh, goes to show how often I make curves, um, but I believe, you know, that's what this is for, but again, the mag switch, designed to sit in there, hold it there, or actually I think you put it somewhere like that, hold it down, and, well, however it works, it works, but uh, again, the main thing is that you use the same type of a mag switch, Naturally, um, this type of a mag switch on that uh, would sort of uh, conflict with trying to use it for a feather board, so you might need four of them. Uh, because it's pretty, you know, you don't particularly want to adjust the fence using it, then move the mag switch to your feather board. Well, you might, I won't. Okay, and that's what I will do is uh, move the camera, hone in on the digital display, and give you just a quick demo of. Uh, the readout you will see as you move the uh, jig. Okay, here we are at uh, back with the jig. Um, you'll notice I've as uh, honed in on the actual digital display. Um, again, operation: tighten the fence, loosen it up a bit, and now what I'll try and do is advance the blade. To uh, the fence towards the blade, which means I'm doing a clockwise motion. Now you should see the readout decrease, and as you can see, you can get quite a significant changes, or you can go very slow. And I'm now going to go back the other way. As you can see, I'm sort of like uh, moving it by about point. Well. You can see it tick over by about 0.1 of a mil, which is pretty good micro adjustment. Um, now, I'm not going to do any more than that, so that's about it. And uh, that's all there is, folks. Now, okay, has anybody moved that on? I'll switch. No, no, here it is. Bye.